Here. All right. All right. Let's get it. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Hey, this right here is the world championship. My first world championship back in 2019 when I first turned pro. So let me give y'all a little backstory that we can get right into it. So at USA's, you know, to qualify for this meet, I came in fourth. So that means, you know, I made the relay team as alternate. So typically, you know, you run in the prelims, you, you never really run in the final, you know, unless something happens, but yeah, that basically, that's basically what it is. So I already knew, like, you know, I'm running the prelims. It's my time to shine, man. I'm finna come out here and do what I do. You got to do what you do. So basically, before all of this, I was running first leg. I was practicing first leg, you know, for days, getting used to that because I've never ran first leg in my life. So I'm getting used to that. And then a couple days prior to the race, they hit me with the, oh, yeah, we're going to move you to anger. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried because I ran anchor my whole life until I got to Oregon and I ran second leg. But it wasn't really no pressure. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't no pressure. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, cool. So we're going we gonna to make it do what it do. We're going to make it do what it do regardless. But that's basically kind of what happened, you know, from, from that standpoint. But let's get right into it. are on track we're not far away it features the united states and the newly crowned 100 meter world champion as i mentioned when we went to my dog that is team usa's you see the four so it's coleman to gallon to mike to me lead off with the world's fastest man to my finished business we know how well coleman starts watch for him in lane five wait before before we get into the race let me give you a little backstory another backstory right so World Championships was actually supposed to be in the summer, you know, July, August. But it gets so hot in Doha that they had to move it to September, October. That didn't even do nothing. It was still like 115, 120. Humidity was like 90%. I'm talking about as soon as you walk outside, it's like the sun just banks you. Like, it was ridiculous how hot it gets out there. So, to help with that, you can see right here along the stadium, there's air vents. So, these are air conditioner vents throughout the whole stadium around the track because, you know, trying to cool the stadium down, trying to cool the track down. Because when I tell you, it didn't make no sense. It don't make no sense how hot it get out there. And so, another thing is, right before the race, I'm putting my tape down, you know, just put my tape down, getting ready, getting ready for the race. And the dude from Qatar, which is his home, his home place, he's jumping. He's doing high jump. When I tell you I couldn't hear nothing, like I couldn't hear, like I couldn't hear anything. I was trying to talk, like project and talk out loud, like nothing. Like that's how loud it was. Like, it was so loud in the stadium and you can see in the stadium how many people was in there. Like it was ridiculous how loud it was. But let's get right into it for real this time. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh -wee. First of all, look at this gap. That's a gap for sure. That's a gap. He already made up the stagger on Great Britain and Jamaica. My dog on the turn, crazy. My God. All right, here's another part that a lot of people didn't see. Obviously, you see it on TV. Unless, I feel like unless you was a part of the team because, I don't know. But look, right here, Gatlin and the dude from Great Britain runs into each other. So that knocked Gatlin off balance, you get what I'm saying? So that kind of took time away. Obviously, Gatlin was still blazing on the back stretch, but that took time, you know, for him to get back on balance and, you know, do what he need to do. But that, but that's definitely something that a lot of people didn't notice. Yeah. Gatlin gets it. There was a little bit of shouldering and elbowing. Yep, 
you see the stadium. Get there, Mike. See, he starts stumbling right there. Get it and go. Get it and go. Hold your own, Craig. I'm looking up at the jumbo trial line. Ooh, ooh wee. See, I'm scratching my head. So you had to come top three, right? So at this point, I'm like, bro, did we get in? I'm like, you know, everything's going through my head because I flew 18 hours. The flight was 18 hours. No food, no snacks, no movies. I wasn't in first class. I'm in the back, legs hurting, knees hurting, you know, walking around the plane. Man, it was torture getting there. So I'm like, bro, ain't no way. I flew this far for this? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, that is crazy. I'm like, please. Please, God. You can pass the baton. It's not like before where you had to be in the acceleration zone. Let's look at Mike Rogers. Dude. So I got my hand back. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And obviously, you have to get the stick before this yellow line. So... I'm not finna run out the zone like an idiot. That's what I'm not finna do. So I had to turn around and grab a stick. I had to. There's no, like, what else you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, this is crazy. That's all I'm thinking, like, bro. This is crazy what's happening. But I I knew, I was like 90% sure, though, that I had it. But still, you still had that doubt, like, you know, when they go to video, it's like they can really slow it all the way down. You get what I'm saying? And then I'll, I'll show you a better a better uh, clip of, of what took place. Into the World Championship Final, and Mike Rogers never looked comfortable on this leg. He's leaning back, his right shoulder's open. Hey. To all my youngins, don't ever do this. This is like worst case scenario. I'm talking about worst of the worst. You know, like this, you know, this for a gold medal, you know what I'm saying? You got to get that thing. You got to get that thing to get where you're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? So, but that was, uh, that was crazy. So look, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all right here. Because in this video that I'm reacting to, I've seen a lot of people, you know. I'm not here to play the blame game. But I see a lot of people like, oh yeah, the rookie, the anchor messed it up, that the anchor did this, the anchor took off early. That was a lot of that was a lot of cats saying that, you know, that's why, you know, Noah replaced him in the uh, in the final. First of all, Noah was already running the final. And then we're just gonna watch the film. So here's Mike right here. Here's Mike. Here's the tape. As you can see, the tape is right here. As soon as he hits the tape, that's when I take off, right? Boom. You wanna watch it again? We can run it back. We can run it back. Watch when he gets inside the tape. Boom. Pretty sure it is. As long as he has that baton in his hand before that yellow line. Now, mind you, <laughs> and this brings up a good point. Mm, came from a complete stop. Get it and go. Still held on. And I was, and I was, and I was getting there. That boy was getting there. By the way, Brazil in second just set a South American record. Here's where I want you to focus your eyes. I was definitely close. That was close. But I got that thing. Hey, so now I'm sitting here like, Lord. But like I said, I still had confidence that I got it in. But at the same time, you got the doubt like, they about to review this. 
So I'm watching. I'm just looking at Jumbotron, just watching it. And then that's when Coleman asked me. He said, oh, you good? You think we good? I'm like, we good, bro. We good. Coleman did his job. He didn't have a great pass to Gatlin, but at least the stick got passed. Yeah, we saw it. And the question begs, did the baton get passed before the yellow line? Has Gillespie got it or not? Get there. Get there. Look at, look at the boy closing. That boy was closing. Yeah, Craig. Well, Christian, you had a dynamic leadoff leg. Just tell That's me how fact. things got started for this relay. That boy called me uh, was moving. Really That's what, that was my job. I wanted to come out and give us a pretty good lead and, um, you know, let these guys finish it off. So, um, already. Yeah. Mike, there, was, there were issues as you were bringing the stick in. First of all, your body position, where you hurt something didn't look right as you were coming around the corner there. I balance the turn was kind of tight. So, I was just trying to get tall, get back on balance, and just come in and get him a stick. So what was the issue with you trying to get the stick to Crave on and the way you guys got deep in the zone? Not sure if you're still in or out. Um, I don't know. It's just the spacing was off. The timing was off. I don't know, but hopefully we got in. Crave on, you had to turn around. That's a last ditch effort there. Tell us about trying Talk to get the stick Craig. done. Well, I got close. I got close to the end of the line. So mm -hmm. um, usually we get a, like a silent mark. If you don't get it by a certain time, just throw your mm -hmm. hand back. So I had my hand back, and I just tried to get it before the line, honestly. All right, guys. Thank you. That's that's basically the end of that. You know, it's definitely a wonderful experience to have my pops there. You know what I'm saying? To be able to come out with a gold medal the next day. They did what they had to do. They got the American record. You know, they won. They they handled business. You know what I'm saying? And so at the at the end when they did the victory lap, because you know you get the you get the flags for the victory lap. Gatlin actually gave me the flag. That, that he did with the victory lap. So shout out to Gallon for that. You know, I really appreciate that. And yeah, man, it was a fun experience. And so, them, them my dogs right there, them my dogs. But that's the end of this video. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, you know, tag me on Instagram, all that stuff. I see it all. I literally see it all. I really appreciate y'all. Cause like I said in the last video, y'all don't have to do this. So continue to rock with your boy and I'll see y'all next video. I'm out.